Uh, as it goes through those activities, you can see the load on the okay. on the different cores, yeah? Um, so just give it a note there. Start it. Let's start it. Okay. So on the, on the left we have the, uh, the CPU utilization and you can see the load on each core and you can see as it migrates between the Cortex-A7 and the Cortex-A15. On the right we have uh, an energy, a relative energy uh, graph. Basically this is 100% when all the Cortex-A15s are running at their maximum load. Okay? And then it shows you relative to that high point how much energy you're using at any given moment. Okay? The benchmark basically steps through several common activities on a tablet and shows you how the CPUs behave as, as it is executing those activities. All right, so in this case, it's a complex graphics, and this is to force the A15s to the high mark, so you can see the maximum kind of mark, 100%. Then it does several other activities. So video playback is done, of course, in a video decoder. So in this case, the CPU is very lightly loaded. Map navigation. Mostly done in the graphics process, so you can see now and then you'll have a little bit of activity as it pans around. Okay. Next you see web browsing, and now you'll see as it loads pages, you'll see it jump to the A15 to do the page load, and then back to the A7 as it idles. So they use the key, which is And then again, we have this complex graphics, which is again just about showing you the maximum high, high watermark of the, of the tablet. And 100% uh, yeah. uh, that key is the full width. You can see relative, you know, it's doing things like this, you can see it's using much, much less than that high amount, yeah?